Hi everyone, Steve here. Today I'm going to teach you how to secure Mozilla Firefox to make it into a safe, secure browser to protect your identity online and to also to protect your privacy. There are a lot of other browsers out there. Some have faded into obscurity like Netscape. Others are just up and coming like Microsoft Edge. There's Google Chrome that has been around for a long period of time. All decent browsers. But my personal preference for a simple fact of security, privacy, hands down, is Mozilla Firefox. But there are some settings you do need to change. First and foremost though, when you download Mozilla Firefox, whatever you do, do not get it from any site other than mozilla.org. There's a lot of fake browsers, there's a lot of fake programs out there designed to make you download something you think is one thing, but meanwhile, it's an entirely different beast behind the scenes and you're likely to be hacked with all kinds of data miners or crypto infections or other kinds of malware applications. So please be careful. Download anything just from the site where you're actually going to. In this case, mozilla.org is the only site to download it from. Now, I have installed it already on this computer, but it's set up right from scratch. So the first thing I always recommend is set your default browser. In this case, being Windows 10, we'll just set as use Microsoft, use Firefox as the default browser. So it automatically opens up the settings. Your web browser at the bottom here, select Firefox, and that's all there is to it. Now you have Firefox set as your default. Second thing is what you want to do is set a home page. Now your home page could be Facebook, it could be YouTube, it could be Google or anything. Most of my clients, by default, I would set up as google.ca, just because that's pretty much a universal standard. And in Firefox, everything in terms of the settings is handled by this icon at the top right corner. Click on it, go into your options, and in the Home tab, we're going to set a custom URL as our start page, and we use the current page, which is, in this case, Google. Now. Let a couple of things to keep in mind. On the general tab, which is where we start with Mozilla Firefox. Firefox is set as the default browser, which is what you want. One thing that throws off a lot of people is they don't know where the downloads are stored. In Firefox, by default, it will go to your downloads folder, which is set in the general tab. The second thing I recommend checking is when it comes to PDF documents. By default, it opens in Firefox. This is not, in my opinion, a recommended setting. Click on the little drop down, and I always say save the file. Now, here's the reason a lot of people will choose to open automatically in Acrobat Reader. Don't do that. Save the file so that your antivirus scanner can scan it and deal with anything that could potentially be infected within that file. PDF files are probably one of the highest rated files in terms of bringing infections to your computer. So ex please exercise caution with those, those kinds of files. If we scroll down the page further, a big setting that I would like you to change right away is under this network settings. Click on settings, and right near the bottom here, it says enable DNS over HTTPS. What this does is every request that you send out to get a web page like google.com or facebook.com, it sends that as clear text over the internet, and it brings back the IP address. When you change the setting and enable DNS over HTTPS, it uses a secure socket and it redirects it by default, in this case, is to Cloudflare. So if you have a router set for a particular DNS server, just bear in mind that this will override that and it will use Cloudflare's DNS servers to serve up the web pages, which is not a bad thing. It is faster as well anyway. So we'll click on OK there. Now, let's go to the Home tab here. We've already dealt with your home page. These are settings under Firefox Home Content. What I would recommend for the web search, turn, the, turn all these settings off. Top sites, you don't want it to recommend anything to you. Highlights you can turn off, snippets you can turn off. So all of this stuff, I would honestly turn them off by default. Under Search Page, as you can see, the default search engine is Google. And you've got a number of different ones in the bottom here. I do recommend switching your default search engine to DuckDuckGo. It's a far more secure site in terms of your privacy. 
And that's what this comes down to, is your privacy on the internet. So use DuckDuckGo. Under search suggestions, no. You don't want to get any suggestions. You, you want to go to exactly where you want to go to. No suggestions at all. In the one-click search engines, you can change your default. For example, if you're looking for something on Amazon, why not use the Amazon search engine to find that particular product? You don't want to search all over the internet. So you might want to leave that one on. Same thing with Bing, you might want to leave, or any of these that you don't want. You can simply remove them. Like Wikipedia, I generally don't use. eBay, I don't use. DuckDuckGo, like I say, is my default. Any that you won't use, delete them because they don't need to be on your browser. Now, the biggest thing that you want to change is under this privacy and security. This is where it can make the most difference to your security on the internet. Under this enhanced tracking protection, what I would suggest over here is clicking on custom and tracking content only in private windows, or you could change this to all windows. That way it's a little bit more secure. So keep all those checked off. Now you also want Firefox can by default send a do not track signal. So it cannot track what you're doing on the internet. I change this to always just to be a little bit more on the secure side. Just again, keep in mind, some websites won't work if you turn off the ability to use cookies. You might have to come back into here and add an exception. You also want it to delete all cookies when Firefox is closed just for an added security. Same thing at the bottom here, the logins and passwords. Don't save any of this information. Turn, turn these off. You don't want it to save any of your passwords. You want to use a password program such as LastPass, ideal program for keeping, your, keeping track of your logins for different websites and of your passwords. History, never remember the history. And in fact, you can clear the history immediately. So we'll just take care of that. In the address bar, this is where I mentioned in a previous video, where you start typing something in the address bar, it automatically fills in suggestions on where you should go. I turn all of that off. So it won't remind us of anything except for maybe bookmarks. Leave that one on because if you've got a huge list of bookmarks that you've saved and you can remember part of the name, this will automatically recommend it based on your current bookmark list, which is a good thing to have. Go through all of these settings as well for permissions for the camera, microphone, if you don't use it or use it, make sure you turn it on or off respectively so that it suits your browsing needs. Firefox data collection, we don't need it to send any information back to Firefox. So I turn all of these off. You want it to block dangerous and descriptive content, block dangerous downloads. So all of this stuff we definitely leave on to protect ourselves. Synchronizing tab, this tab you would use if you are synchronizing across multiple computers and you're signing in with an account, which is one of the features of, of Mozilla Firefox. Again, for additional security, don't use it. But if it's not a big deal to you, then certainly use this feature because it does make it handy if you're using multiple computers. Now, here's the big thing. Mozilla Firefox, like other browsers, has a lot of add-ons that can really enhance your security on the internet. So what you want to do is click on the settings up top here, go into your add-ins. Now there's a couple of add-ins by default that I recommend that you use right away. HTTPS everywhere is the first one that I would recommend that you use. So it's this one right here, it shows the big S at the top here. Definitely, definitely add this one to Firefox. It secures all your websites. And I also say, Click on this as well, allow this extension to run in private windows. That is, if you open up a private browser, it'll protect you there as well by making sure that the websites have HTTPS enabled. Now, when once the extension is enabled, you'll see this S at the top here, which is HTTPS everywhere. You click on that, HTTPS everywhere is on. Now, this is a setting here that you need to be careful with. Encrypt all sites eligible is on. I have this turned on on mine. And any website I go to has to have HTTPS enabled. There's certain sites that I visit that don't have it enabled. They just have HTTP colon backslash backslash. And I know those websites. So what you can do is in here, you load up the site and then you can disable HTTPS everywhere for that particular website. That way you're still remaining protected and you can still use the websites that might not have HTTPS turned on. 
because there are quite a number out there still. So that's the first extension I always recommend. Do install it and make use of it because it will save you some potential problems down the road. The next one that I recommend as well is again, we'll go into the add-ons and we'll look for an add-on called Privacy Badger. Again, add it to Firefox, click on Add, allow it to run in private windows, I turn on as well. So you've got that. So Privacy Badger, basically, when you're going to certain websites, there are invisible trackers in the background which it uses to track your information. Google Ads is a notorious one for that so that it knows where you're going so it can start targeting advertising. Facebook does the same thing. They all do. That's how they make their income. So I cannot really complain too much about that. But what Privacy Badger will do is all those invisible trackers, if it appears on three or more websites, it will start automatically blocking it for you. So keep that in mind. Privacy Badger certainly helps keep you more secure on the internet as well. There is various other add-ons that you can use that I've used in the past. Some of them are good. Some of them just become more of an inconvenience, but those are the main two that I use by default. Now, hopefully, looking through this, you can see that Mozilla Firefox, you can certainly make more secure, but you do have to make a the few changes to give you that added protection on the internet. As always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up so that I know that it's actually content that you enjoy or get something out of. Leave me a comment, negative or positive, Whichever the case, I'm open to it, all information from people or feedback from you. So please do leave us a comment. And again, if it's useful and you want to see more information like this coming down the road, please do take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It will be appreciated. And above all, have a fantastic day.